Every Sunday, hundreds of homeless people come to 3rd Street in Detroit to get hot food. For the past six years, Nahid Ayub has been coming here every week to bring them what they need. I don't get no food since and I get my grandkids on the weekend. I'm able to feed them on the weekend while they're while they here. Because I don't get food since the little stuff that I do get is just enough for me. And so what I get from y'all, it really stretches and it helps me a lot. Nahid Ayub recalls it was after she met a homeless vet that she decided to start her nonprofit Project Dignity Outreach. I would take the same exit to work, but somehow I ended up on the wrong exit. To my left sat a homeless man in a wheelchair. Even if the light was red, I would not stop for the red light. I would just go. One time he gave me the finger. I said some pretty mean things to him. Go get a job. And um, he had a blanket on his lap. And when he removed the blanket, he said if he had feet, he would. His feet were amputated. I was ashamed. I, I couldn't get him out of my mind. Nahid left her very well-paying job in media advertising at the Detroit News and Free Press and spent her own money to start feeding the homeless. This is where all the love and the passion came from, this kitchen. Nahid spent roughly three to four hundred dollars on food every week. First she went through her savings, then sold her valuables, but still didn't stop. She then started her nonprofit and dozens of volunteers came to help her. Those receiving the food are grateful. Food for the soul, for everyone. It nourishes just as good as medicine, you know, having the food, food in our system to survive. Anybody can be in need. You can be in need. I'm in need, you know what I'm saying? It, it really doesn't have a, uh, you know, a, a choice on who really needs anything because you never know. Nahid doesn't want to stop at feeding the homeless. In the future, she hopes to build a shelter, start courses that would help people find a job, and even open a clinic for homeless women and children. My advice to society, when you see a homeless person, don't drive away, just stop. Have a conversation with them, whether it's a minute conversation or an hour conversation. You will see there's no difference between you and that homeless person. That homeless person was somebody's wife. That homeless person was somebody's husband. That homeless person is somebody's child. And though Nahid may not be able to solve the problem of homelessness in Detroit, she's making life better for many, one hot meal at a time. Anusha Vitisian, VOA News, Detroit, Michigan.